Dad and Dinosaur by Dan Zantat. Dad and Dinosaur is one of the 20 nominees for the South Carolina Picture Book Award this year. Dad and Dinosaur by Jennifer Chaldenko and Dan Santat. Nicholas was afraid of the dark outside his door. The bushes where the giant bugs lived and the undersides of manhole covers. His dad was not afraid of anything. Nicholas tried to be brave like his dad, but he needed help. Big help. He needed a dinosaur. Dinosaurs like the dark. Bugs are nothing to them, and they eat manhole covers for lunch and everything underneath them for dinner. When Little Nick had his dinosaur in his pocket, he was just as brave as Big Nick. You should have seen your son at the climbing wall today, his mom told his dad. No fear at all. He takes after your side of the family. Of course, there were times when Nicholas had no pockets. During soccer, he hid his dinosaur in his sock. When he swam, he tied the dinosaur to the cord of his swim trunks. At night, his dinosaur was under his pillow. Then one day at soccer, Nicholas played against the goalie they called Gorilla. But no worries. Nicholas had his dinosaur and his dinosaur was fearless. He kicked the ball so hard it shot past Gorilla's oven mitt-sized hands straight into the net. Everybody cheered. His mom had the whole thing on video. You're incredible, buddy, Big Nick told him. Nicholas's face lit up like a glow stick. But when it was time to leave, the dinosaur was gone. Nicholas searched from one end of the field to the other until it grew dark. What are you doing, Nick? Nothing, Nicholas said. On the way home, the night was as black as octopus ink. Giant bugs were everywhere and their little car was nearly sucked under the street. Nicholas ate no dinner that night. He went to sleep early with the light on and nothing under his pillow. He dreamed about bugs as big as buildings and the world under the manhole cover. When his father came home late that night, he came into little Nick's room. You have a, bra a bad dream, buddy? He asked. Nicholas didn't answer. It's okay to be afraid. All guys are now and then. Who said I was afraid? Nicholas shot back. Nobody, Dad said, but something's the matter. After a long time, Nicholas whispered, I lost my dinosaur. He's the brave one, not me. Let's go find him then, Dad said. His mother heard them putting on their jackets. Where are you two going at this hour? It's guy stuff, the, his father answered as they walked out the door. Dad drove Nicholas across town to the dark field. Together, they searched the spongy grass. Sure enough, there was Nicholas's dinosaur as big as ever. When they got home, they gave the dinosaur a bath and put him under the pillow. Dad, Nicholas said, don't tell mom, okay? Course not, Dad said. The next day, Nicholas put his dinosaur in his pocket but he wasn't the only one who knew he was there. The end.